This has been an anticipatory rally. The market's been so optimistic about the idea that change could come to Washington. You could have that Ronald Reagan redux rally with a pro-growth, pro-business agenda with lower taxes and less regulation. But recognize the markets can sometimes be wrong, Kelly. And in this case, the president-elect himself talking about the dollar being too strong. That might mean that the markets have the Trump trade wrong. Perhaps the market should be considering maybe everything we've been building into this rally has been incorrect. Maybe the president's saying instead, look at some of the areas that maybe have been left behind. Look at some of the international markets that might benefit from a weaker dollar. Look mm. at something like the U.K. markets. So perhaps we should listen to the president when we argue what the Trump trade really is. And the Trump trade can change. This is a yeah. guy who's built on change. And that's, I think, what we're seeing today. We're seeing a reversal in the leadership. And that may be a sign of things to come, Kelly. One thing that is potentially unfair, many would consider the idea that you're forced to take this money out unfair. But maybe also unfair is the new Department of Labor regulatory changes that are making it more difficult to get this money out of the plan because the money has to go to a fiduciary. So, in fact, you're forced to take the money out, but the government's own rules are making it more difficult to get that money out to the place you want it to go. And by the way, you are paying taxes on ordinary income along the way. So it's hard for investors to feel like this is a great policy that's in yeah. their best interest. And it's a demographic issue. These people need income. You've got an aging population. They're clearly going to be taking money out of the market, and it's going to put pressure on the financial markets as those withdrawals happen and the taxes are paid.